greetings from Filter Concept. The global oil and gas industry is a major driver of the global economy, and the refining of crude oil is an integral part of the industry. Refineries are responsible for converting crude oil into higher value products, such as gasoline and diesel. Lately, in our series Filter Solution by Filter Concept, we have covered various filtration applications for downstream processes. Dehydrogenation is a key process in this conversion, and this video will explore the complete process of dehydrogenation, from the initial conversion of crude oil to the production of higher value products. We will look at the complete process description along with the challenges faced by the process. As a route to obtain alkenes from low-cost saturated hydrocarbon feedstocks, catalytic dehydrogenation of alkanes is important for refineries. During oil refining, ethylene, propylene, and other compounds are produced as a result of cracking larger hydrocarbons. These compounds, such as propene which is used in the polymer industry for the synthesis of high-purity polypropylene, whereas isobutene is needed for the synthesis of MTBEs and ETBE additives to gasoline. The primary benefit of dehydrogenation is that it increases the octane rating of the end product, allowing for more efficient and cleaner burning fuel. Additionally, the process can increase the yield of the final product, reducing the cost of production for the refinery. The dehydrogenation process involves the removal of hydrogen from hydrocarbons, allowing the production of higher value products. The process is typically conducted in a catalytic cracker unit, where the catalysts used are either metallic or acidic in nature. The catalysts are responsible for lowering the activation energy of the reaction, thus making it more energetically favorable. The process of dehydrogenation is a complex one and requires processes for it to be carried out efficiently. The process consists of several key steps. First, the hydrocarbon compound is heated and the catalyst is added to the reaction. Then, the reaction is allowed to take place, typically over a period of several hours. During this time, the hydrogen atoms in the hydrocarbons are split off and recombined with other hydrogen molecules to form other hydrocarbons. This process continues until the desired end product is reached. Once the desired product is reached, the reaction is stopped and the end product is removed from the reactor. The product is then cooled and filtered before it is ready for use. The challenges faced by the sector include the production of high temperatures, the presence of hazardous materials, and the use of expensive catalysts. The implication of this process on the environment must also be taken into account. This is because the process releases air pollutants and hazardous compounds that can be detrimental to human health and the environment. Efforts are being made to improve the efficiency of the process and reduce its impact on the environment. In the petroleum industry, an efficient filtration system is critical to the reliability and performance of the physical assets that process petroleum products. Maximizing your operational performance requires optimizing these filtration systems' reliability. By incorporating an adequate filtration system in the process of dehydrogenation, refinery operators can take advantage of its advantages and produce high-quality products. Filter Concepts comprehensive solutions guarantee customer satisfaction through the combination of high-quality components, superior engineering, and unprecedented industry experience. We ensure our customers are delighted with the results, as we have developed these filtration systems with the utmost quality. For any inquiries, please contact inquiry at the ratefilter-concept.com or engg at the ratefilter-concept.com. Our team values your opinion and looks forward to hearing from you. Thank you.